channel. My name is Natalie and I'm the owner of Poised and Prepped and I sell pre-loved clothing for men, women, and children. And today I am back out at my local Goodwill to do some sourcing and basically this past week I have been doing a bunch of live shows and honestly, I have been loving it. I've been having a lot of success. So I'm really trying to go in here today and find some items that I can put into some live shows this coming week. So I'm really looking for, I don't know, just some like really fun, maybe some unique items. So hoping I have some really good luck in here. Let's go in here and see what I can find. I lose my breath whenever I see you. ready to show you all what I picked up today and I actually ended up going to two Goodwill stores so I am gonna first show you everything I picked up at store number one and then we will get into store number two so the first item I picked up was this Rixo for Target floral maxi dress it has the puff sleeves it is absolutely gorgeous this one was the rixo for target collab and it's a size two i paid 6.49 for this one and the coolest thing is that i actually picked up one of these rixo for target dresses 
I don't know, maybe like a month or so ago. And I ended up selling it today. I got an offer on it for $45, which I accepted. And then I went out sourcing and I found this one. And I was like, what are the odds? So really excited to find this one. I think this one might even be prettier than that last one that I found. So very happy to find this. I'm probably gonna list this around like 40 to $45, but it's a really, really pretty piece. Next up, I grabbed this Vineyard Vines Navy Half Sip Pullover. Here is the tag. It's an extra small, and it has a little flag here on the front. I paid $4.99 for this one, and I really like picking up these Vineyard Vines pullovers. They do perform pretty well on the secondhand market. Some of them do go for a lot more than others, um, usually the ones that tend to go for higher, it's because they have like a really unique print here on the back of them. This one's plain, so I'll probably list this one around like 35, but still a really nice pickup. Okay, this next dress really caught my eye when I was in there because it's black, it's eyelet. It's got all these really pretty like ruffles down the front, at the bottom, and it was new with tags. It's called Selfie Leslie, and this one is a size 12, and I paid $6.49 for this one. And I had never really heard of Selfie Leslie. I wasn't familiar with it. So at first I kind of, you know, I knew I liked the style of it, but I just thought, you know, it's probably nothing, but I did run comps and I was actually really surprised. Like the comps were pretty good for this brand, especially, you know, something that was new with tags, in style, good size. So I decided to go ahead and pick this up. Um, again, comps on this looked like they were around like 40 to $50. So when I saw that, I was like, wow, um, definitely gonna go ahead and pick this one up. Again, so cute. Black, ruffles, eyelid, I love it all. All right, I also found these Everlane high-waisted, like paper bag style pants. And on top of that, they're wide leg. They are absolutely gorgeous. Here's the tag. These are a size large and they are organic cotton. And the best part about these is that the blue tags were 50% off today. So these happen to be blue. So these were $5.49, but then I got another 50% off. So like $2 and something for these. And they are in perfect condition. Comps on these Everlane high waist trouser pants on Poshmark were about $40 to $50. So I was so excited to find these, especially in a size large. I was really happy with that. All right, so I also grabbed these black Eileen Fisher leggings. These are a size small, and these were actually also 50% off, so $5.49, but they were the blue tag, so a little under $3 for these. And these are in excellent condition. These are like a really kind of like more like sturdy kind of thick leggings and they're really nice. So um, these are actually selling probably around like 35 to 40. So, you know, especially at $3, I was happy to find those. This is a Lulu's gray sweater dress. It's got these really fun like flare sleeves. This was a size large by Lulu's and it also was new with tags and I paid $4.99 for this one. I do like picking up these Lulu dresses if they're new with tags. So I usually get, I mean, honestly, it really just depends on the dress itself, but I would say roughly somewhere between 25 to about 40. And that, again, the range on that is just depending on the size, the style, but I do like picking them up because I do feel like they sell. So yeah, I paid $4.99 for this one. This I thought was so cute. Um, I loved like the mustard color of this one and just the whole like look of this. This is by Knox Rose. It's a size extra small. And I did pay $6.49 for this one, 
But these Knox Rose dresses, they actually sell really good on the secondhand market. So, you know, this is actually a Target brand, so it doesn't retail for all that much. But I do find that if I pick it up new with tags, I can get pretty close to retail. And even on some of their other dresses, if it's just very desirable or the style is really there, even in those dresses, you can get close to retail. So I picked this one up for $6.49 and I'll probably list this one somewhere around like $25, but it is really, really cute. This was a new with tags maxi length dress by Torrid. So I was really excited to find this one. It says this one retails for $78. There is the tag. And again, this one's a size 16. It is really pretty. It's this beautiful like lace, but it's like stretchy and really soft, but it's maxi length and you know, I haven't really had the best luck when it comes to Torrid. I think I may have mentioned that in another video. So someone actually um, sent me a comment here on YouTube and said that the larger sizes in Torrid are what actually sell the best. So I've been trying to keep my eye out for, I think they said like size like maybe two and up is what really does well in this brand. But this was a size 16, but it was new with tags and I just really thought it was a pretty piece. So I did pick this one up. I paid $6.49 for this one and I'm probably gonna list it for around 40. Okay, so I found two pairs of these Blanqui leggings. I was so happy. Okay, so here is the tag. These are a size large and I paid $5.49 for these. This is a gray pair and Blanqui is actually a maternity um, kind of legging. So these perform great on the secondhand market. I love finding this brand. I always, almost always pick up this brand, again, unless there's like a problem with condition, but all sizes perform well, at least in my experience. So very happy to find these. And then again, I found them also in this really, really pretty green color. And these are also a size large, excellent condition. I paid $5.49 for these. And again, these are just great for like, even in like postpartum, a lot of girls will wear these. They're just very comfortable, maternity, high quality leggings. I also found two pairs of these Athleta kind of capri length workout pants. And these are both a size large. So I got a navy pair and then I also picked up this gray pair. These were both in excellent condition. I mean, really, really nice. And I paid $4.99 for both of these. And especially these being a size large, I really felt like these would perform pretty well. I love picking up Athleta if it's in good condition. And these definitely, I would say these are in excellent condition. So very happy to pick both of these up. I will probably list both of these somewhere around like $30. This was another pair of black capri, you know, kind of like athletic wear pants that I picked up. These are by the brand Girlfriend Collective, and these were a size large. I paid $5.49, but these were the blue tag, so 50% off, so around $3 for these. And Girlfriend Collective is a really good brand. I actually do not run across this brand very often so i was actually happy to find it i'm probably gonna list these i don't know probably somewhere around like 40 dollars. all right this was a really pretty dress so i loved this like mocha color it, this one kind of hits like right past the knees it's like three-fourth sleeves but this is amazing quality this one's actually by Gabrielle Union for New York and Company, and it's a size medium. It is new with tags. So I pay, let's see, $6.49 for this one. And these Gabrielle Union dresses, 
So I know that they are New York and company, but this was a like collaboration that they did with Gabrielle Union. So she basically, you know, designed, I guess, a collection with them. These dresses are amazing quality. Like they feel really, really high end. Um, I actually picked up another one of these dresses by Gabrielle Union. It was new with tags. I ended up selling it for like, I think it was like $80 it was a lot and i remember when i was running comps on it um being really really surprised like i was not expecting that so some of these gabrielle union dresses really have a great resale value i definitely wanted to pick this one up it's really a beautiful piece so i'm probably gonna list this one somewhere around the 50 to 60 dollar mark and i was really excited to find that i also picked up these black zaya athletic pants these are a size extra extra large and i paid 5.49 for these and zaya is actually a brand in terms of athletic wear that i get really excited to find it performs very well for me so I paid again $5.49 for these. I'll probably list these around like $40 to $45. And I usually get a lot of really good activity, especially in these larger sizes. All right, so this was definitely my number one find of the day. This is Farm Rio for Anthropology, new with tags. This one's a size small. I could not believe it like i am not kidding when i was going through the racks and i saw farm rio i was already like shook i was like i can't believe this is happening and then i saw that it was new with tags and i just my mind was blown um it was marked up okay so they had it marked up to 19.99 but it was the blue tag so it was 50% off of $19.99, so I got it for $10. And it retails for $248. So I did run comps on this, the stock photos were gorgeous, and it looked like it was selling between $125 and $150. So definitely the number one pickup of the day. I'm still in shock the best feeling ever so very very excited to find this okay so this was a really cute set that i found so here is the top it's kind of orange i don't know maybe like a tribal style print and this is by the brand never fully dressed there is the tag it's a size small and then the skirt that goes with it let me try to get it situated here it's kind of like a wrap style skirt um and it ties goes in the holes and ties but it's like midi length so the top and the bottom are like a set they match i did have to pay um 4.99 per piece um for the top and the bottom so in total for the complete outfit I had to pay $10 basically, but I did look this brand up and run comps and comps looked great on this set. It looked like it was selling for about $50 to $60. So I decided to pick this up. I think this is really cute, especially for like, you know, spring and summer. So very excited to find that. I love a really cute like matching top and bottom set. So. I thought that was a good pickup. Okay, this was a free people dress that I found. And here is the tag. This one is a size small and I paid $6.49 for this one. Really pretty purple, floral, very boho free people. Um, I love picking up free people. Their dresses do pretty well for me. Obviously, I feel like some of their dresses perform better than others, um, but this one I think is gonna do really well. This one's just a very, you know, classic free people look in my opinion, just very bohemian style. So I think I'm probably gonna list this one around, I don't know, maybe like 40 to 45. 
This is a little Old Navy denim midi dress that I picked up. I actually picked this up for myself, but I'll go ahead and show you all. Actually, this, I loved the sleeves on this. I don't know. I just thought this was really cute. So I grabbed that for me. This was a polo Ralph Lauren size medium, eight to 10 quilted navy vest for little girls that I grabbed. I paid $2.99 for this. And I do like picking up some of these kids pieces, especially if it's like outerwear, things like that, that you know probably retailed for quite a bit. Um, these perform really well for me. So I like finding these kind of, you know, Ralph Lauren, Polo Ralph Lauren jackets, coats. So $2.99, I'm probably gonna list this one for about $25 to $30. I picked up two Zaya active tank tops. So I found like this light gray one. It kind of has like a tie in the front. And I think it's kind of like a cropped length. And then I also picked it up in this dark gray color. It's the exact same tank top. They're just different colors. I paid $4.99 each for these. And let me check. I think that the size on these, yeah, these were both extra large. So I did look these up because at first I thought, well, maybe I wouldn't pick them up because in terms of like Zaya tank tops, at least the last time I checked, um, I didn't really feel like the comps were looking that great. But when I looked these specific ones up, these were still doing okay. So these were still selling for about like 25. So I did go ahead and pick these both up because they were an extra large size. I thought that that would, you know, probably help them to sell a little bit quicker. So I grabbed both of those. I picked up this J. Crew jungle kind of themed blouse. It's really pretty. This one was a size small and I paid $4.99 for this one. So the comps on this one, they looked pretty good, around like $25 to $30. And I just thought it was really cool. I liked the animal print. It does have like the tie around the neck. So I decided to go ahead and pick this one up. I also picked up this Lulu's dress. This is a new with tags, black Lulu's dress. This one was a size small and I paid $6.49 for this one. And this one's actually really cute. It is just kind of like a very simple black dress, but it kind of hits like right past the knee and it's kind of like kind of form fitting. And I just really liked the look of this one. So I'm probably gonna list this one around like 35. This was a jacket that I picked up. It's like a purple linen jacket. And this is the brand Avic Le Files. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but there you go. This is actually sold at Anthropology, And this one's a size small. I paid $4.99 for this one. And it looks like comps on this one were going for around $40 to $50. So nice little find. So this is definitely a brand that if I see, I will run comps on. Now I have run comps on this brand in like shoes and things before, and it did not have great comps. So even though it's sold at Anthropology, some of their pieces just perform better than others. These were another pair of the Zaya active leggings. These were cool. These had like a stripe on the end of this leg and these were in excellent condition and these were a size small. I paid $4.99 for these and I'm probably going to list these again around like $40 to $45. This was a J. Crew floral cotton midi dress that I picked up and this one was a size small and I this doesn't have the little tag on it still, but I'm sure I paid $6.49, which was just like what they charged for dresses. But this one was in great condition. And this one was from, I believe, let me check, but I believe this one was from like the spring or summer of 2021. 
Um, let me check. Yeah, oh, it's from summer 2021. So it is a relatively, you know, newer piece. Um, I did run comps in the stock photos, just looked really comfy and cute. So probably gonna list this one around like 25 to $30. All right, this next piece is so fun. This is maxi length, rainbow stripes. It has the big puff sleeves. This one is by the brand Eloquy. It's a size 16. And when I ran comps on this, it looks like new with tags that this dress is still selling for like 80 to $90. So without tags, I'm probably gonna list it for around like 50, 55. It is amazing. It is such a fun piece. I was really excited when I saw this because Eloquy in terms of dresses really performs well for me. So I do like picking up this brand when I can find it in, you know, I guess more on trend styles, but this one was amazing. I was happy to find this. All right, so that was everything that I found at Goodwill number one. And honestly, after finding the new with tags Farm Rio dress, I was just, I don't know, I was ready to do some more sourcing. So I was like, I'm going to another one. So, and I had a lot of success at Goodwill number two as well. So let's jump right into that one. So I ended up finding quite a few of these Madewell puff sleeve blouses, which I was really excited about. This one is a size small. And I just thought the print and the color on this one was really, really pretty. Um, again, I love puff sleeves. So I paid $4.99 for this one. And I'm probably gonna list this one for probably around like 35. It's really cute. Okay, this one was another Madewell puff sleeve top. This one's kind of like an orangey color, ribbed top, and this one was also a size small. I paid $4.99 for this one. Probably gonna list this one, I don't know, maybe like 25. This is another Madewell top. This one's a size medium. This one has strawberries and ruffles, all the fun things. Size medium, I paid $4.99 for this piece. And I don't know, I just thought the little strawberry print was really, really fun. So I wanted to go ahead and grab this one. It was in great condition too. So probably list this one again, somewhere around like $25 to $30. This was a J. Crew top I picked up. It has the puff sleeves and all the fun ruffle details. Loved the floral print. This one was a size small and I paid $4.99 for this one. And again, I'm probably gonna list this one somewhere around $25 to $30. This was a really, really pretty top by Cynthia Rowley and it was new with tags. This one's a size small. It still has the TJ Maxx tag for $30 on it, but it's just a really cool piece. I loved the blue and white. I loved all the really pretty embroidery details. So I'm probably gonna list this one probably around like 25 to $30, but I just thought it was a really pretty fun piece. All right, this next dress is another rainbow striped maxi dress. I mean, two in one day. This one is J. Crew. It's a size small, and I love this dress. I actually uh, looked for this dress for myself. I think it was like last summer on Poshmark, and I couldn't find my size, and it was reselling for still a lot, like 70 to $80, but this is a really great find. I was so excited when I saw this. I'm really kind of tempted to keep it, but I don't know, I probably won't. But I paid $6.49 for this one. And again, the resale value on this is like between, I would say 60 to $75, depending on the size that you find it in and how many options there are. But I was so excited to find this. This is such a fun piece. 
I also picked up this little hat and I just thought it was so cute. This one is by the brand Vera Bella. There is what it looks like. I paid $2.99 for this and I just thought it was like the perfect summer hat. I loved like the black bow and it actually feels really nice quality. I actually didn't run comps on this because I just knew that I was gonna go ahead and pick it up, but I love picking up these summer hats. And honestly, right now is the best time during the winter because this is when people are kind of getting rid of them and there's at the same time, not a lot of people shopping for them. So I always try to make a point to look through the hats and I have sold some of these summer hats for like 50, $60. So it's definitely a section that I always look out for and check. Um, and I hope that kind of now we're in January, going into February, we're gonna see a lot more of these being donated. So, so cute, love this. All right, these were a pair of shorts I picked up and these are by Hayden, they're a size medium. These are new with tags, and I really just liked the style of these. I liked that they were high-waisted, kind of the paper bag look, little distressed, draw him. I just thought these were cute. They were new with tags. They were a good size, size medium. I paid $4.49, but they were blue tags, so they were half off, so like $2 for these. So really good deal on them. Um, I'll probably list these for like 25 to 30 but I just thought in terms of style that these were really cute. All right, this is another dress that I picked up and I loved the look of this. It's like a striped linen-y look, kind of like an apron style dress. It's got the big wide front pockets, really cute tie waist. This one's by the brand Ruli and there is the tag. This one was a size medium, and I have sold this brand before. Um, this brand doesn't bring a whole lot, like, I don't know, maybe 20 to $30, but I just really loved the look of this one. I just thought it was really pretty. It was midi length, it was a good size. So I paid $6.49 for this one. I'll probably only list it, again, somewhere between like 20 and $30 but I just thought it was a really cute dress for spring and summer. So I did go ahead and grab that one. This was a new with tags, who, what, where dress. This one was a size large. It retails for $36.99 and it is midi length, ruffle, flutter sleeved, this really pretty bright coral color. I just loved it. I thought it was a really pretty dress. So, you know, in terms of who, what, where, especially if it's new with tags and it's a current style, I like to pick it up. I can usually get pretty close to retail for these. So usually around, you know, $30 in most cases. Now, obviously that just varies on the dress and the size and the demand and what's available, but I do really like picking up these dresses when I can find them new with tags. So I paid $6.49 for this one. And again, I'll probably list it $30 to $35. I also found another new with tags, who, what, wear dress. This one was in extra large size. This one also retails for $36.99. And again, green, really fun, bright pop of color, midi length, ruffles off the shoulder, just really fun. I just, I love who, what wears dresses. So I paid $6.49 for this one. And again, I'll probably list it around $30. All right, these were a pair of jeans that I picked up today. And these are the jeans that kind of it's maybe hard to tell, but they like button towards the side. So it's that kind of style. And they were distressed, raw hem. These are by the brand Vervet. And I paid 
$7.99, but these were blue, so they were half off of $7.99. So around $4 for these. These were a size, um, let me check here, 30. And Vervet is actually, I've sold Vervet jeans before, and their comps are actually, you know, pretty decent. Like, I think the last pair I picked up, I think I got around $40 for them. So that's probably what I will list these for around the $40 mark. And again, I got them 50% off, so I paid $4. So I really think the style of these, especially like the style where they button up, you know, kind of off-centered, is really popular right now. So I hope that these perform pretty good. All right, this next dress is another new with tags dress. This is another Target dress. This is Ava and Viv. And this one's a size 1X. I really, really was torn on whether or not to pick this one up. There is the inside label, Ava and Viv. Um, but I loved it. Look at these sleeves. I mean, these sleeves, you guys know how I feel about puff sleeves. I love puff sleeves. And I just, I just couldn't leave this behind. It is a size 1X. It's new with tags. It's floral. I mean, there was just so many details. I really just thought it was a really beautiful dress. So I did go ahead and pick this one up. I paid $6.49 for this one. And again, this is a Target dress, Ava and Viv. So I know I'm not going to get a whole lot for it, but I'll probably list it for around like, I don't know, maybe like 25. It was just too pretty. I had to go ahead and pick this up. So I may put this maybe in one of my, like my live shows. I think it might do well there. Again, it's a great size and the style was just there. So I picked it up. I also picked up these two dresses. Um, these were both new with tags and they're both by the same brand which is Do Plus B. There is what the tag looks like. These were both a size small, and I think I paid, yeah, I paid $6.49 for both of these. This one is like midi length. I mean, this is like neon pink. Definitely Barbie core vibes for sure, um, but it was just really fun and bright and cheerful. So I did pick this one up. And then this one is kind of similar. It ties, kind of has a lot of like ruching in the front here, collared, but I thought that was also really pretty and it was new with tags. So I did pick up both of those. All right, this next one is a dress by ASOS. Here is the tag. And this one was a size six. I loved this one. Again, this one was midi length and it had this really pretty back, crisscross back, had this nice like V neck style here in the front. It's a really cute dress and it was new with tags, it was size six. I paid $6.49 for this one. And these ASO dresses, I mean, some of, I sold another new with tags ASO dress just this week on eBay for I believe like $45. So some of these ASOS dresses can still perform really well on the secondhand market. I'm probably gonna list this one, probably similar to that one, probably around $45. And I think this one will do well. I think the style of this one is just really cute. Okay, this was a Crew Cuts Girls Sherpa vest I picked up. And here is the tag. This one's a size 14. It's in excellent condition. And I get so excited when I find these crew cuts vest. I love them. I just think they're so adorable. I paid $2.99 for this one. And I'm gonna list this one probably around like $25. Okay, so here's the first pair of shoes I picked up. These are a pair of like black espadrilles. These are by the brand Vince Camuto and the tag was $9.99, but they were blue. So that made them 50% off today. So I paid $5 for them and I did run comps and it looked like these were still selling for around 30 to $40. So these have a little bit of wear on the bottoms, but um, you know, I still think that they're gonna perform pretty good. And these are a size six and a half. So really cute espadrilles just always do really well for me. So 
As we are getting ready for spring and summer, I really like picking these shoes up if I can find them in good condition and in good brands. The second pair of shoes I picked up were these tan leather heels by Madewell. Here is what that looks like. And then these did have a little bit of wear on the bottoms, but these were a size nine and a half but the uppers look great on these. They look amazing up top. So I paid $7.99 for these and I'm probably gonna list these somewhere around $40. All right, so that was everything I ended up sourcing today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I do have a few live shows happening this week. Hopefully I'm planning to put some of these items in those shows. So. Definitely come hang out with me during the lives, come shop, and I will see all of you all again really soon. Bye, everybody. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they